Hey boys and girls, the Junk Man coming back at you with another video series. But of course, this time I'm not going to be doing anything detailing related. Not of course, but at least this time. The reason why I'm actually making this video is uh, I told everybody on Digital Corvettes who's been following my Corvette saga of the blown head gaskets uh, that I would make a video the moment I started the car for the first time. Now, just a little background on what happened. Um, basically, the head gasket started leaking, filled up cylinder six full of coolant. I come out the next morning to start the car. The car clicked. I tried to start again. I heard the starter whirling. And then I, I go back, or I should say I, I drop the exhaust so I can get to the starter, and the starter's just hanging by wires. What had happened was the starter actually broke off of the block and took a chunk of the block with it. Not a pretty picture. So I ended up having to TIG weld the motor back together, uh, replacing the uh, head gaskets and 500,000 other gaskets, bolt screw. I like practically overhauled the engine without pulling it out of the car. But uh, I took care of all of that. I just finished tightening up uh, the last two bolts on the exhaust by the way, uh, so trying to hang the exhaust by yourself, laying on your back in your garage, whew, I don't wish that headache on anybody. That was an experience, okay? But I know more about this freaking motor now. I'm telling you, the, the funny thing about this is I started this repair back in September of last year. <laughs> and uh, I didn't even know what a head gasket was. You know, I heard the term blown head gasket so I thought it was something metal that actually blows up you know uh, shows you how much I know about cars because I hate working on cars but uh, so I, I found out what it was and you know of all the cars to try to fix the first time I do it on a 2001 Corvette ain't that crazy it's my baby my pride and joy I ain't gonna let nobody else touch it I don't care how long it takes me now it really didn't take me that long. I'm just lazy and I was procrastinating. I come down, I look at the motor, I'd be like, hmm, well, I really need to get to work on this. Then I go on back, I'm in the house, you know, throwing back uh, some chocolate chip cookies and a cold glass of milk because I did not like working on the car. I, I wouldn't touch the car for like a month at a time. I come down, take a boat out, you know, look at it kind of admire the fact that I got it out and that's it, done for the day. <laughs> so that's why it took me from September of last year to May of this year to get the car completely done. And now uh, somebody made a crack about, we don't even know if it's gonna start. Well, we don't, <laughs> we don't know if it's gonna start. I'm about to find out. I got a fully charged battery and a new starter and a new power steering pump and New freaking everything. I mean, I replaced hoses, gaskets, bolts. I was replacing stuff that clean and cleaning stuff that, you know, you ain't even going to be able to see. But I'm going to let you take a look at the engine because it's clean. But um, I just got done. I've been out here since uh, 7 o'clock last night. It's like, it's like 5 o'clock right now. So I've been out here like 10 hours straight. A brother is tarred, okay? No. I ain't tired. I'm tarred. I'm like, there's tired, and then there's whatever comes after tired, and then there's tarred. I'm like T A R R R R R E D or D. However it's spelled. That's what I am. So, but uh, so we're gonna fire this bad boy up. You know, another I get distracted easy too. I get distracted making my videos. Another reason. I can't never get nothing done because I'm always out doing what the junk man does, chasing them ladies. That's, that's my thing, you know, so I just can't get enough of the ladies. Let's get on to starting this ride here and uh, let's see what happens. I, I'm, uh, I'm kind of, uh, what can I say, I'm, I'm kind of uh, trepid right now with it. I think it's the word I want to use. I remember the first time I did something real intensive with the engine. 
I was like scared to start it for a, a long time. <laughs> I was done. Like I didn't know if I put it back together. Right. But I know I put this back together right. So let's uh let's take you on in the car. Let's see what we got here. Uh bring you on whoops in here real time. First uh look how clean the motor is. Motor's nice and clean. I clean every inch of this thing. I clean spots that you can't even see. I mean, I got down to the nitty gritty. Got clean that alternator is. You ain't gonna find one cleaner than that. All right? But I cleaned everything. Car's filthy. My car's filthy dirty. Uh, I need to clean my hood liner. That's a hood liner for you right there. That's how the junk man roll. All right? Let me get out of the, let me get out of the scene there. That's how the junk man roll. All right, let's uh, let's turn this key. Let's go on inside here. I'm gonna have a whole lot of detailing to do on this bad boy, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights here, the parking lights. Now, look at that odometer. A brother drives his ride. Okay, this ain't no garage queen. You know, I don't understand how guys can buy a car, especially a performance car, and then let it sit in the garage all day long. You know, that's like, to me, that's like marrying Halle Berry and then make her sleep in another room. Psh, not. Brother going brother gonna ride, okay? And I believe in riding my ride. So, all right, here we go. Put the picture on the engine just in case it freaking jumps out of the car or something. I don't know what it's going to do. Here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Here a fuel pump. That's a good sign. Let me look at some gauges real quick here. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, battery looks a little low uh, over there. Uh, of course, none of the rest of them are going to be showing anything. My fuel gauge is working. For those of you who have the fuel gauge problem. Uh, here we go. Well, I don't believe it. It's freaking running. Took it a minute to start up there. I don't know what was up with that. Uh, let's check the gauges now. Okay. Uh, what in the world? Why's my windshield wipers going? Okay. We've got uh, we've got good um, good uh, oil pressure. Pre oil pressure is good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Like I said, fuel's good. Um, batteries are going to charge up. Right now it's showing almost 14 volts, which is pretty darn good. Fuel gauge is working, again, for those of you who have that problem. Uh, of course, it's cold right now, so the temperature's going to be all the way down there. Come on, focus camera. I hope that's focusing. I, I can't see myself. I'm half blind. But uh, it looks like it's a wrap. Uh, let's get it closer to the engine. Now, keep in mind, uh, the engine's cold. Notice you don't hear that LS1 slap. Notice that. None of my lifters are tapping. How about that? Must have fixed that problem too. So there's that. Um, so it looks like it looks like it's a wrap, boy. Looks like it is a wrap. I'ma take this on inside and upload it. Uh, and and oh hey, I just got a, a booty text. Hold on a second. Let's see who that was. It might be uh, my girl calling. Let's see here. Let's check it out. Let's see if she got back to me. Hear how quiet that engine is? No pistol slap. Sound like a sewing machine. That's about it. Oh. 
Hey, baby. Hold on. Hold on a second, baby. Let me cut my motor off. Yeah. Huh? Let me, uh, let, me, let me sit down and get comfortable so America can see what's going on. Uh, I ain't got my tripod today. So brother's just kind of winging it in his garage. So what's up, baby? Brother want to know, how you doing? I am okay. Thank you very much for asking. Hey, you know I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> You got your high heels ready? Yes, sir. Okay, what I want you to do is put them on because I'm on my way over. I'll do that. As we I'll say. Wait for you, mommy. You really? You going to do that for me? Sure. Quiero acostarme. No, I will. Quiero acostarme contigo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. I'll see you in a little while. Okay, wait for you. All right. Bye. Bye. See, that's why I can't get nothing done. Right there, see? That's exactly why I can't get nothing done. Right there, boys and girls. Right there, that's why I can't get nothing done. So anyway, uh, let's put an end to this video. Get it uploaded on YouTube. And uh, we will... Uh, we got a lot of work to do, but the brother rides again. Junkman is now mobile and in style. All right? Okay? So, uh, I'm uh, signing out, and I'll see you all in cyberspace. Peace!